six of our series of the eBird instructional films and this time we're going to show you how to explore regions and explore hotspots. These are very useful tools if you're uh, interested in a particular area. So again we'll go to the explore data tab and we're going to look at these two top ones here. Explore a region, that's very nice, we'll just click on that link and we're taken to this new page and you type in the name of a county, state, province or country that you're interested in. Well let's say the Morgan Arboretum because we've been using that a lot. Nothing comes up, that's a shame. So it doesn't have everything in it, but it does have Montreal in it. And that takes us to this page. There are three tabs here. There's an overview which shows you that there have been 304 species reported to eBird in the Montreal region. Uh, 16,363 checklists. Did that interest you? It gives the species and who first reported them. That's perhaps not terribly important but it gives you it gives you a, a, a mark of a mark of respect if you were the first person last scene first scene the highest counts so the highest count of american crows on one occasion was 500 but of lesser black bat goals there's only ever been one at a time. And it also gives you access to bar charts. These just take a little while to load. Here we are. So this is the Montreal region bar chart. And I would point out that these bar charts are available for everywhere. All the hotspots you can get these bar charts for. So what they do, let us look at uh, Kathleen Goose. And we can see that they're been seen in April and May and in September and in relatively small numbers because the width of these green bars indicate the frequency with which birds have been seen. Canada geese is obviously a lot of them, <clears throat> not so many in January and February, numbers start to pick up in March, peak in April and May, decrease a bit in the summer, increase again in the fall. Wood duck, don't see them in the winter, they start to arrive towards the end of March, they're here right through to October, tailing off in November, and so on. High bill grebes again start to pick up in the spring, here in the summer, disappear. Might they migratory species, obviously. Whereas sharp shinned hawks, here pretty constant numbers right throughout the year. We can call up maps by clicking these tabs and that shows us that for gadwall these are all the places where gadwall have been seen over the years and you can edit that by applying a filter so we only wanted to know about gadwall in the years 2010 to the present day click the green button and here we are. So in the last five years, you can see you can zoom in and out, in the last five years there have been reports of gabble in these places. So I'll step back to here. There's a hotspots tab. So we can focus in. Earlier we wanted to look at the Morgan Arboretum and that's got its own link here. So we can click that. And again, there have been 182 species reported to eBird, and you've got the same information. And you can look at recent visits, see who's been reporting birds most recently. You can click the live link, and you can actually see the checklist. So those, those were birds which were seen by this birder on this date in the Morgan Arboretum. 
This is useful if you want to know what's around, if you've got some target species you're after. So we'll step back to here again. So we're back in Montreal. Recent visits are summarised here as well. We also have a list of the top birders by species in Montreal, or wherever it is that you selected this uh, for, for this feature for, and the number of species that they've reported, and the top hotspots. So Ile des Sœurs has got by far the largest number of species reported. That may be because there are more birds there, it may be because there are more birders who go there. We don't know. But it's obviously a good place to go to go and look for birds. Okay. So let's go back to the Explore Data tab. So that's the Explorer region option. We also have Explore Hotspots. This starts off with a world map and you can zoom into the area you're interested in. Let's forget about Montreal for now. Let's let's go and look somewhere else. Let's go over to the west coast. Vancouver Island. Plenty of good birds there. And as we zoom in, we can see hotspots coming up. Want to go to Qualicum Beach? I'm going there on vacation. Click the link, and here we are. There's 133 species being reported there. You can view the details of it. Just laid out just like the others. These are these are all the birds that are on the checklist for Qualicum Beach on Vancouver Island. And you can get those for anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, really? Why not? Let's say you were going to the United Kingdom. You're going on vacation. You plan to visit Scotland. Keep zooming in. And here we are, Loch Rannoch, right in the middle of the Highlands. Only 24 species reported from there. I suspect that number is low because there have been a, a lower number of birders actually reporting from there. Because outside North America they haven't got as many years in the database, but it's being built up. But, same principle applies. All very useful. So that's how to find out what birds are around, and what birds have been around, and where they've been in a region or a particular hotspot. Do make use of that when you're traveling. It's an extremely useful tool. Thank you.